Amidst Aotearoa, New Zealand's rugged mountains, and beautiful scenery, an incredible creature lies hidden in plain sight. A natural treasure, or Taonga, the jeweled gecko, Noltenus gemius, one of around 10 species of New Zealand green geckos, also known as Moko Kakariki, an absolutely stunning little reptile. So I've just been released from quarantine and my family's come to pick me up and then we'll head up the hill find some geckos. I was back in New Zealand for my brother's wedding as well as other family reasons so I dragged the whole family along to help find lizards. These masters of camouflage are not easy to find. took several trips, all across the South Island's Canterbury and Otago regions. We searched day and night. Employing a technique that I'd learned in Taiwan, using lights to find sleeping reptiles at night. Oh, here's one. We had some success. Okay. If you can hear that I don't know if you can hear that avalanche in the background. It's quite loud. Anyway, look what we found. Although usually sleeping at night, in good conditions, they sit near the tips of branches, catching the abundance of insects attracted by the caprosmas. This one has caught something, but it's hard to get a clear look before the meal was over. Off it goes into the safety of the dense foliage. Oh, Pretty cool. A jeweled gecko. Good night, little lizard. Here we've got a jeweled gecko, Moko Kakariki, which literally means green lizard. These are, in fact, diurnal lizards. So by day, we were much more successful. And the jeweled geckos are basking out in the morning sun. And they are just so much more stunning in the sunlight. This one basks amidst the beautiful blooms of small Kanuka flowers. In the cooler times of day, they can be found basking in the sun. But as the day heats up, they will retreat further into the dense foliage where they can seek shelter in the cool shade. They feed mostly on a variety of insects and sometimes, certain times of year, small berries. They've even been known to eat nectar on rare occasions. Jeweled geckos prefer the security of dense tangly foliage. So these kinds of small leaf shrubs are ideal habitat for the jeweled geckos where they can get out on the edges of the branches to bathe in the sun or they can scurry away to safety if predators come or if they just want some shade. Did you? Which makes small leaf caprosmas, spiny matagari and the tight knit foliage of manuka and kanuka ideal. Unfortunately, habitat loss and fragmentation has taken its toll on their numbers. In addition to fires, illegal poaching for the pet trade, and worst of all, introduced predators such as cats and rodents. Luckily, increased predator control, conservation efforts, and a greater awareness of this taonga may see their numbers stabilize as they are, unfortunately, endangered. You probably noticed by now the varying patterns and colors. Some have stripes, some have stars, and some have a combination. No two individuals are alike. 
This gives them a fingerprint of sorts, a way to identify individuals. Interestingly, this enabled New Zealand herpetologist Kerry Knox to identify an individual that had been illegally smuggled into Germany, who was then successfully repatriated back to Otago. Although typically bright green with pale markings, they can come in greys, browns and other colours in between. Check out Kerry's Flicker albums for more stunning images. Knox has been working with Jewel Gecko Conservation for over 10 years. I hope you enjoyed this little journey, discovering one of Aotearoa's most beautiful treasures. New Zealand is home to some rather unique reptile and bird species. Thanks for watching. See you next time.